hello everyone. My name is Jessie McDermott. I am a partner solution architect here at Aqua. So very excited to bring you guys through this demo today. Um, now to start off, we are here in our Aqua hub. Um, it's worth mentioning that like Erin has said, um, you know, we do have access to supply chain, CSPM workload, account management, and obviously our Aqua hub. Now, just to start off, this hub right here is essentially a data lake. Um, we're going to be pulling all relevant information and resources from all other aspects of Aqua to give you one central location where you can come in in the morning, you know, look through your insights, look at your compliance really quickly and get an idea of what you need to do that day. But to start off, let's take a look at some of our insights. Now, obviously, you can see we do have some labels at the top that are pre-configured. Um, but the insight I do like to bring everyone's attention to is going to be this Spring 4 shell vulnerability right here. Now, you'll see that we have some insights regarding workloads, standard vulnerabilities, some login data. Um, but this Spring 4 shell is a really great example of what a standard CSPM tool will be able to show you and what Aqua's real-time CSPM can show you. So going into this actual VM, we can see right here, again, we have a Spring 4 shell vulnerability found in running workloads with exploitable system configurations exposed to the internet. Now, a standard CSPM tool would definitely let you know you have a Spring 4 shell vulnerability with exploitable system configurations, but that would be it. Due to the real-time aspect of our tool, we also are able to let you know that it's found in running workloads and it is actively exposed to the internet. So this takes a vulnerability that's definitely something we need to be aware of and, and fix you know, within the week or so to something that needs to be taken care of immediately. Obviously, you know, exploitable system configurations aren't great, but when you add that it is on a running workload connected to the internet, you kind of have some more issues you got to deal with. Scrolling down, we can show you those CVEs. Exploit is available, but we do have a vendor fix, which is great. Um, our internet exposed, and then also the remediation steps here at the bottom. Now, to be able to show you another way um, that our real-time CSPM tool has really beefed up, um, our product in general is actually coming into the inventory. Now, within here, you will see that obviously, you know, you can search from cloud providers. We do offer um, AWS, Google, Azure, Oracle, Alibaba, um, just name a couple. Um, and then we have our resource categories, risks, network severity, and other. For this example, I am just going to pull up all of my container images. Uh, actually, no, just my containers. And we're going to be taking a look at this one right here. Now, again, let's view this from the idea of a standard CSPM tool and the information we would be able to gather. We would definitely know that there are vulnerabilities and sensitive data, um, but that would really be it. You can see here I have some top insights that have been mapped to this exact container. Um, we can see that there was drift detection, a file execution was detected, and also a new executable was dropped in memory during runtime. Now, just like Aaron has said, 52% of those attacks are not able to be found. Um, you can't catch them with a standard agentless tool. And again, that's exactly what had happened here. The agentless tool was not able to catch that, but our agent, that real-time portion was. Um, from here, we can also show all resource data and supply chain information. Um, but my personal favorite view is actually utilizing this security graph. And this truly speaks for itself. Um, you can come into the security graph and you'll be able to see the, the developer who was working on this tool, um, their repository that they utilized, the container that came from it, the sense of data and vulnerabilities, and then the actual incidents that happened for that real-time um, resource. Now, this on its own is, is extremely helpful when you are using those siloed tools, like we mentioned. Not only do you just not get this type of, of integration and this type of, of you know, life cycle view, but to gather all this information, it's going to take you a little bit of time. The overall idea of this is to help reduce the time that it takes to find these issues and make those fixes. Um, if you're going through three separate tools, you might not even have access to all of them. Maybe you need to contact other teammates, someone else in the company to get that information. Um, and so a tool like this, Aqua's a real-time CSPM tool, really does streamline that entire process. Um, now, obviously from here, if we need to see this um, you know, code repository information, all you gotta do is click on that and it's going to, and I will share this tab instead, it's immediately going to pull up that repository. We can see compliancy, vulnerabilities, build pipelines over here in our supply chain side. Whereas when I go back over to that security graph, you know, if I need to see information regarding this container, 
And again, resharing now this tab. Then we can see, um, you know, again, we can see that it's pulled up all that container information so we can go through all of it, risks, vulnerabilities, malware, the whole, you know, nine yards. Um, so again, just to, you know, fully round it out, this type of security graph view saves you time, saves you resources, um, saves you a lot of headaches at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, that is our real-time CSPM tool.